Hello, it's Jimmy here at Overlease. So, coming to look at a vehicle that's for sale on Marketplace today. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you the Top Done Car Pal. Uh, it's a Bluetooth dongle that you connect to your phone. So, let's get over and have a look at this car. So, before I go there, I'm going to take get rid of my hat. So, I'll be in disguise. So, I've got the normal civilian clothes on. Okay, here's the car in question. It's a VW Turan. Let's get it, have a look inside. Now, thankfully, the customer's given me five minutes to have a look over. Um, probably staring at me across the road, thinking, why am I recording myself talking? But, um, yeah, so let's open this up and have a look. Okay, so here it is. Very stylish looking little tool. Not that that makes any difference. I've already got my greasy fingers on it. That's basically what it looks like. So we'll get it plugged into the car now. Okay, now what I've done is I've downloaded the app on my phone for it and we'll get that up so basically we're in the google play store and we're going to open the app and get the ignition switched on so we can see it's got a flashing light we've got a particle filter warning down there so let's press search so before even plugging the tool in here i've got something that contradicts the sale uh, description which is that it needs uh, just needs glow plugs and it's an easy fix for someone I'm always a bit suspicious when people write stuff like that because um, why sell a car with an engine light on if you can fix it relatively cheap and just increase the value of the car um, usually when you see people say it's a simple fix it's a bit suspicious so let's um, scan it okay auto scan this might take some time okay so first opinions from here is that it is a bit slow I'm not sure if it's just this car but it's taking a fair while to get communication but then again it is relatively a cheap tool so I'm not expecting it to be super fast but yeah it's a little bit slow now still waiting okay so we're in that took a few minutes I won't lie uh, we can do like a scan it's going to go through all of these different modules but that might take a long time so what I'm really looking to look at here is the engine control module so what we'll do is we'll press pause if we press pause here that should stop once it's uh, finished yeah there we go once it's finished the reading the engine control module so we'll do a quick reading particle filter restriction Low voltage, engine oil, temperature sensor, circuit performance, O2 sensor stuck rich, bank 1 sensor 1, ECM, de-energized, 200, P200, 200 particle filter trap. Um, right, so I'm not really 100% sure how you get the live data up on here. Uh, can we get live data? Uh, let's go back in here. And we get live data so we've got a sign here which I think would be the live data show actual but it's not highlighted so we can't press it oh, okay so if we come back to the main menu we can see a live data button here let's press that and see what we can get it's a bit weird it's separated from the false okay we're in at the live data let's have a look what we can see Something else is a little bit suspicious usually when you go to a car and the temperature is already up so they've had the car warmed up before I've got here which um, I'd rather not have. I'd rather have started the car from cold and see see um, how it was from a cold start really but you know. Right so we're mainly co co trying to concentrate on this tool here. So. I can't seem to find enough live data that I'm the stuff that I'm looking for, which is DPF related. Calculated load, EGR. No, we can't find. Okay, so I'm going to exit the live data. Cause that's not really helping me from there. I can't find enough information that I want. Uh, battery test, hood maintenance. I'm not sure what that is. Start testing the battery. Well, let's turn the engine off to do that, I suppose. Ensure the 
Looks about ready to be fully charged. So we'll do that again because it wants me to start the engine. Okay, so battery test is normal, that's all it says, but uh, I'm not really sure how it's, yeah, how it's, um, well, I haven't done that test properly really because the engine was running. Okay, so hood, choose your favourite hood style, chap the upper right corner, you can change, uh, so it's, this is just changing sort of the design, I'll take it. Oh, you can um, you have a heads-up display. Maintenance. Let's see what we got here. We've got DPF functions. Let's see if these can work. Okay, so it says that the particle filter needs to be replaced because it's reached 70 grams. I'm not sure if we can reset that on here. Okay, so these are some of the other items that you can do there. I wasn't able to perform a reset on the DPF there, unfortunately. Okay, some good and bad points that I'll mention there so far is that the good points is that it can scan, as far as I can see, all of the systems in the car. Um, just some information is missing, some of the live data is missing, and some of the options that I'd like to do for the DPF tests are missing. Um, but, I mean, it's going to vary depending on the car you plug it into, um, and it is quite a cheap tool, so I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, super... Um, I've lost the word compatible with um, every car but what this can do here is what it's done for for, for this scenario is for the price of a pretty cheap tool um, someone who's got say an engine fault on and they just want to plug it in and see is it safe to is it a, a relatively safe fault to drive the car home with so is it something that saying your engines overheating you'd say no it's not safe is it you know a, a DPF pressure sensor it should be relatively safe to drive home with that. So, um, we've now we've now armed with we're now armed with the information that it's this is likely going to need a new DPF. And a quick wipe of the tailpipe confirms that as we have got soot there. So I think we're pretty much done here, really, on uh, showing you just a quick over overview of the tool. And I'll see you on the next video.